Welcome to Growing in Faith with GP Crane Fam. So, faith comes from hearing, that is, hearing the good news about Christ. So, let's grow in God with the Apostle Luke's testament of Jesus being anointed by a sinful woman. Amen? Amen. Be kind, like, comment, share. <clears throat> One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to have dinner with him. So, Jesus went to his home and sat down to eat. When a certain immoral woman from the city heard he was eating there, she brought a beautiful alabaster jar filled with expensive perfume. And she knelt behind him at his feet, weeping. Her tails fell on his feet, and she wiped them off with her hair. And she kept kissing his feet and putting perfume on them. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know what kind of woman is touching him. She's a sinner. Then Jesus answered his thoughts. Simon, he said to the Pharisee, I have something to say to you. Go ahead, teacher, Simon said, replied. And Jesus told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one and 50 pieces to another, but neither of them could repay him. So he kindly forgave them both, canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon answered, I suppose the one from whom he canceled the larger debt. That's right, Jesus said. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water to wash the dust from my feet, but she washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You didn't greet me with a kiss, but from the time I first came in, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You neglected the courtesy of olive oil to anoint my head, but she has anointed my feet with rare perfume. I tell you her sins, and, and they are many, have been forgiven. So she has shown me much love, but a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. And Jesus said to the woman, your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said among themselves, who is this man that he goes around forgiving sins? And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Luke 7, 36 to 50, New Living Translation. I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly. Asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in the knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he has called his holy people who are his rich and glorious inheritance. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Ooh!